Good morning, YouTube. What is up, everyone? Seven in the morning, and I woke up at 5:30 a.m. today. You guys probably know this about me already, but um, I am. I'm definitely a morning person. I prefer to wake up early, and then if I do wake up early, even if I don't plan on it, I'd rather go to work early, get more things done, get more things done within the day. I'm wide awake, but I know that I will feel exhausted later in the day, so we'll see about that. But man, maybe I'll add an edit to this. But one thing I do want to talk about today for sure is is it too late to become a programmer or when is it too late to become a programmer because this can apply to everyone in general and I don't want to discourage anyone programming is extremely competitive should I give up now or should I start now I'll go ahead and talk about that today so let's go ahead head to work and I'll see you guys maybe on my lunch break or if not after work as well so let's go head to the office peace I always do this <laughs> let me know if you guys are tired of that I'll just see you guys there <laughs> bye let me go, go, let me go, go, let me go I told you I'm not yours anymore No, I'm not yours So why are you trying to hold on To hold on when I'm not there for you Wanna take a different lane Wanna play my own game And I don't need you here So won't you let me go Wanna take this ball and chain That you have put on me And throw it out the window I think that you should let go you know this is not meant to be let go Maybe I should have known That you are not the right one for me Let go Alright guys, what's up YouTube? It's the next day already and only have like literally five minutes before my lunch break ends before I get back into the office And so I want to talk to you guys with this before I head back into the office I was talking to a friend and he's actually a developer. He is a software engineer right now We were actually talking about code and I knew that he was self-taught But I never knew his story he told me about how he became a developer and he told me about what happened to him four years ago On um, 22 years old. He tried out coding for the first time when he tried out coding for the first time at the age of 22 He thought man Man, you know what? I think I'm too old to learn code. He tried it, he couldn't grasp it, he couldn't understand, he tried to teach himself, and what happens is that after just two weeks of teaching himself code, he gave up and figured, you know what? This will never happen to me. I'm too old to become a programmer. Uh, I'm too old to even think that, you know, I should have went to school when I was 18, got a college and got a computer science degree. And he was being all negative about all these things in regards to can I become a programmer today? What happened is that he realized, I'm gonna go ahead and try it again. I know that there's a lot of jobs out there for developers. He knew that becoming a programmer isn't supposed to be easy in the first place. And one thing he learned to notice, and I think this is the problem that many self-taught or aspiring developers face all the time. Coding is hard. You're going to struggle all the time. There's never going to be a time when it's easy unless you've been working with that framework, with that library, with that language for many time or even uh, you know working within the system with a company. Um, even if you know code very well, when you join a new company, the system is entirely different. Doesn't mean you can work right away, well right away as well. And what this person realized, he told me, you know, I realized the struggle and getting stuck is part of the fun. For example, you don't when you play video games, right? When you, when I played World of Warcraft, it's hard at first. You're growing, and you know, I mean, or when you play Counter Strike, when you used to be try to go pro as a gamer many many years ago, I was the worst player in Counter Strike that I could ever imagine. I remember getting zero kills, dying all the time. But what happens? I what? I kept putting effort, time, 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 and again. I wasn't good right away. It didn't take me a year to get good, but I got better in a year to three years. And I played Counter Strike for ten years. What happens is that whenever I go to internet cafes, people would think I'm hacking because I got so good after how long? Ten years. But he realized that programming is the best thing. That solving problems, fixing bugs, and just trying to figure something out is all part of the fun. That's all how logic works. And he said, he said at the end of the day, the biggest thing that stopped them from becoming a software engineer in the first place was excuses. I gave up on going out. I cut out on drinking, going out with friends all the time. And he said, I'm not gonna lie, I actually lost a few friends. But he said instead, I focused on something that I was passionate about, that he was passionate about, which was coding. He's 27 years old now. He gave up on coding at 22, then he put an effort at the age of 23 to start learning, and at the age of 24, he became a software engineer. Now at the age of 27, Three years later, he is a software engineer, he gets paid very well, and he's living a very comfortable life and he's very happy. And I think this is really important for just us in general. I've only been a programmer for a year and a half, a front-end developer, transitioning to back-end. And even for me, it's still hard. Back-end is difficult, man. But there are times JavaScript can be a pain in the butt. You know, there's still frameworks that I'm learning, Angular, and PH, working with a language PHP as well. It's gonna be hard, and I could only imagine for people who are self-taught, for people who are just diving into PHP for the first time, JavaScript for the first time, usually, you you know what really separates a programmer a true programmer and just a wannabe programmer who is doing it for the wrong reasons and it's probably not meant for 
for that person is JavaScript because JavaScript is a very difficult language to learn at first. Depending on who you are, it was for me. And so, is it too late to learn code? To be honest, I would say no. I don't think it ever is. You know, unless maybe you're 50 years old, 60 years old, but to be honest, even at that age, you possibly get a junior position. You never know. But 30, no, I'm, I just turned 30 on Monday, guys. I didn't tell you guys, it was my birthday Monday, which was yesterday. <laughs> spend a great time with my family but anyway I'm 30 now I just turned 30 but I still feel like I'm 20 I still feel young I still feel like there's so many opportunities I can still come within the next 20 years of my life before I hit 50 like don't get too hard on yourself so much can change within a year one year ago I didn't have a YouTube channel one year later I have a YouTube channel and this channel paid for my camera equipment my laptop for everything I use for this channel why because I put in the effort and it didn't happen overnight it's the exact same thing with programming and it's not too late to learn code there's always a chance to make it don't get too hard on yourself. Don't let your location determine, you know, if you could be it. Don't let where you live determine it. But you have to find a way to do it if you love it. Don't give up. It's never too late to learn code. It's never too late to change your life. And you know what? If coding's not for you, and you feel like you're too old, then figure something else out. Find another way to earn an income to take care of your family and live a better life. There's always other means of income. Programming is not the easiest way to have an income, a good income. It's probably one of the most difficult because you're constantly learning the rest of your life as long as you are a in this career, in this industry. So no, it's never too late to learn code. You can do it. Don't give up, guys. <laughs> I'm here. It makes no sense why I'm here, but I am too, so. I thought I'd end the vlog with this. I don't know how the vlog will turn out. Maybe it'll be short, we'll see. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys until next time. This is Chris Sean. This is the life of web developer. And I'm out. Peace. Let me go, go, let me go, go, let me go I told you I'm not yours anymore No, I'm not yours So why are you trying to hold on To hold on when I'm not there for you Wanna take a different lane Wanna pay my own